Megan smashed her mom's phone after she sent police hair-standing clips that Megan grows marijuana under her bed. Meghan Markle and mom Doria Raglan's relationship isn't as tight-knit as it may seem, multiple sources tells the US Weekly. She is not very close with her mom, one source tells the US. As a second insider notes that the 63-year-old yoga teacher who lives in Los Angeles has no plans to relocate to Canada or anywhere for that matter to be closer to her daughter. She is currently giving private yoga lessons to a select few clients, the source said. Doria would only see Megan once or twice a year while filming suits in Toronto. Megan isn't as close to her mum as is known. Recently, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are making headlines again and again after news that their mansion in Canada is surrounded by potential weed farms. As the royal couple had announced in January that they are stepping down as senior members of the royal family and will split their time between the UK and Canada. As the parents to baby Archie Harrison chose a lavish waterfront rental property in Montecento with a price tag of $14.1 million mansion. As the home owned by a mystery millionaire that boasts eight bedrooms, two beaches, and view across the peninsula. Now the Daily Mail reports that a disused chicken factory, which is located down the road from their rental mansion, will soon be leased out to cannabis farmers. As the publication says that the entrepreneurs have been all over the area since Canada had legalized the use of recreational cannabis back in October 2018. As the local council has recently created its own bylaws or non medical cannabis, which means that anyone owning land in an agricultural land reserve or ALR can not only grow and sell their own herbs, but open cannabis shops and lounges, reads the report. Earlier, Megan Muggle boasted to Pals about how she'd serve illegal marijuana at her first wedding. Leaked email revealed plans to put the dope in the party bags and at nuptials to Trevor Engelson. Urged to buy a certain type of bag by a pearl, the Duchess had replied, already ordered them, and teeny ones for the pot that say, shh. As the American actress even personally ordered the small muslin bags for the illegal drug to be placed inside the glitzy gift bags to guests. As the future Duchess had then signed off to a friend with a jokey smiley face. Megan's estranged father, Thomas, had revealed that the guests at the wedding in Jamaica were given a bag of marijuana. But the email shown for the first time how Prince Harry's wife was directly involved in the planning of the druggy stunt. Sources claim she'd even had a hand in rolling the joints and inserting the filter tips. At the time of the wedding in 2012, any possession of cannabis was illegal in Jamaica. In 2015, the laws were relaxed to make possession of small amounts a petty offence, unlikely to lead to a criminal conviction. As an insider had called Meghan's first wedding in Jamaica in 2011, a boozy beach wedding with a magical backdrop and an epic weekend under the sun and stars. But as well as alcohol, there was plenty of weed too. As the guests said that Megan and her first husband, Trevor, had bought marijuana through a member of the staff at the hotel. But a guest had added that although she was very excited about surprising the guest with marijuana, it was more of a gimmick and she yet did not smoke too much herself. As I guess said, it didn't seem like it was really her thing. As Trevor and his friends had definitely had more experience with it, and I think she is more of a champagne and a rosé kind of girl, as it almost looked like she didn't know how to smoke, as it is nothing that was very much her, but it was a part of the theme, and the couple were very excited to have the surprise gift for their guests. <laughs>